Hi, my name's Jane Rogers, founder of the Telemarketing Service. I'm going to, I'm on the online prosperity show to talk about my telemarketing business. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I've brought you the telemarketing queen herself, Jane. Jane, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you, Prosper. How are you? Fantastic. Now, obviously, yes. uh, for most of us here in Australia, telemarketing has become a thing of the past, but technology in and of itself is developing at a relentless pace. And a lot of businesses that embrace it obviously thrive, but those that don't will not survive uh, moving forward. But however, the human touch is still very fundamental to building lasting business relationships. And this is where Jane comes in. Now, Jane is a very proactive and successful telemarketer with over 15 years experience working within the sales and marketing sector for various industries. She has so much passion and enthusiasm in her work and her main objective is to achieve long-term contracts for her clients, which is very, very important to her. She actually connects well with people and helps them you know, build a quick rapport with their clients and she's very polite, she's professional and tenacious and definitely loves her swimming. We're going to be talking about that a little bit later on. Now, Jane, you know what? I could go on and on, but you know, as a telemarketer, you actually need to let the client speak more than you are speaking. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you actually sort of got started on this journey and what it looks like now. Yeah, well, thank you for um, doing this with me this morning. It's great. Um, yeah, I um, started my sales and marketing career um, over 15 years ago. I was working with a corporate company, Auto Trader. Um, so I gained a lot of years and experience working with them, um, a lot of training. Um, but also what I found was my personality was really key. Um, in the job that I did with um, being tenacious, being, you know, bubbly, polite, um, was absolutely, you know, a real key factor to help me to connect with um, my businesses and business owners um, in, and to build rapport quickly is what's really important in what I do um, because we all know that sales is you know, is like trust and um, build rapport with people. And that's why people will buy from you, um, you know, it, and that can take time. But I like to know that I really do this, look, you know, very, very quickly um, to build the rapport with, with clients. Fantastic. And Obviously, as we all know, people buy from people. And if you just start the relationship, um, you know, from a human standpoint, you're head and yeah. shoulders above anybody else who is trying to automate the whole system. Now, Jane, one of the things mm -hmm. that you, um, you know, bring to the table is you feel um, you know, people's calendars with meetings and getting them in front of key decision makers. This is such a scary endeavor for a lot of people. What What's your day like? My day is consists of, you know, is being indifferent, is having an indifferent approach on the phone, um, because you know I'm cold calling, I'm calling businesses unannounced, um, and you know it's probably an inc inconvenient time to be contacting businesses. I'm probably the twentieth person or sales call um, that's contacted this business. Um, so I feel that being polite, respectful and courteous to um, business owners and key to, is it okay to, have you got time to talk right now? And more importantly, they probably haven't, but the most important thing that I do is to ask, well, when would they, when would this be? When would be a good time to talk to you? Um, and it gets commitment. So rather than kind of putting the phone down without any commitment, it's good to get the commitment. So even if it's three months time, you get you get the commitment. And you call back in three months time as well. And I again, 
that's so important because if you call back when you say that you're going to call back and when you've committed to call back again that's about building rapport trust and like because you're doing something that you, you say you're going to do Absolutely. so that's really important Absolutely. And you seem to have a good neck, um, you know, around doing things like that. One of the things that I noticed, uh, Jane, as well, is a lot of us are very confident when we're speaking to people face to face. But there's that fear of rejection. How do you sort of circumvent that fear, you know, speaking to people that you are not well versed with and sometimes speaking about subjects that you are not, um, you know, specialized in? Yeah, I think the key is to be is honest, honesty, and but also l- knowing your product to the best that you can. So there's a lot of research in you know what companies um, and their USPs, what they're indifferent to other businesses in their in the same industry, whether it's kind of short term contracts. Um, but yeah, it's about being yeah uh, knowing your product the best to the best of your ability um for sure fantastic i mean obviously this takes a lot of time money and effort and a lot of emotional engagement what sort of people do you like working with i mean obviously my audience is probably listening right now and thinking wait a minute maybe i could reach out to jane but do you just take anybody else who's got a phone number or do you have specific um you know clientele that you would like to actually get proper results for yeah i mean i've got you know any kind of business or a, a, a product um or has a service or a product to sell is who i can work with so really most businesses um but what i do say is that i like working with businesses that kind of you know uh productive are honest um have you know the right strategies of, in marketing um and working for you know businesses at the moment that have really got their marketing well organized um and whether that's be emails being sent out to clients who then i then follow up um which really really does help um to to gain appointments um for businesses it's um yeah and it's about the the on the honesty from the company to me so that i can then portray that to you know to their clients really to represent their business um it is definitely really much helps um gaining kind of leads appointments um yeah for for their business absolutely and obviously with the way technology is advancing you know privacy is now such a big concern um you know in and around um you know businesses and the availability of information and data how do you actually then find the right uh information for the people that you're going to be reaching out to and is that a difficult task for you um sometimes it can be (laughs) but you know it's having the correct data having the 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 knowledge of what my what my clients and who they want to target whether that's kind of the area the businesses um because that if we have a need for the for the clients that we're contacting then it makes you know things a lot my job a lot easier to um gain appointments and get their time to speak about what could be you know really potential for them to to you know to come on board with the businesses um so yeah it definitely is key to have and also even if they've got some warmth you know, if the con- the clients have been contacted previously, they may well be um, lapsed clients that we can, you know, reconnect with to, Absolutely. you know, to gain gain the business back. Absolutely. Now, you've been doing this for 
you know, over 15 years and um, you've been very successful at it so much that you built a team around yourself and a successful business to boot. What's been the biggest highlight that you've come across while talking to people, um, you know, on, on, on the phones, um, you know, something that you will be like, wow, that actually made my day. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, funny, you said, we, I was working for a company and I was contacting and their clients um and it was the fact that i was selling and the the my clients business to the call that i was currently doing and um they were they were keen on on listening to what i had to say with regards to my clients business however after some time they were oh, were actually interested in some telemarketing as well so i was like wow this yeah. is amazing to actually do, a, you know, yeah. a call that I'm actually promoting my client's business and I'm promoting my business too. Um, so actually, I gained some business from, you know, telemarketing for, you know, another one of my clients, which was absolutely great. So, you know, promote promoting my business as well is um, is what's been good in doing Oops. what I do. Absolutely. That's a brilliant story right there. But obviously, Jane, you do know, um, you know, the kind of work that you're doing is very taxing and very emotionally draining. What is it that you do to relax? Because we all know that all work and no play makes Jane a dull girl. <laughs> it's yeah, it's the work that yeah, I, I enjoy a cup of tea. Nowadays, <laughs> it would no, I um... I I actually you know do enjoy kind of re yeah relaxing reading um you know even kind of I know it might take him work and no play but I actually do enjoy and relaxing reading kind of business books um you know which yeah you know there's kind of stuff that just it relaxes me but I'm also learning as well in business and getting other perspectives from from business books. Um, whilst having a couple of glasses of red wine, maybe. Fantastic. I did read somewhere that you do enjoy a couple of strokes in swimming as well. Is that a, a, another way that you relax? Swimming. Yes, yeah, swimming. Yeah, absolutely. I, it's, I love swimming. Um, always have uh, loved swimming. Um, I actually could have been, I could have swum for my country if I'd have, um, yeah, if I'd have, um, continued when I was younger and trained and put everything you know um a lot into into things but it was I was young um and I didn't but I still love swimming I was you know my granddad used to say I was like a, you know I was like a fish in the water um I was quick I was agile you know yeah I yeah but I still love swimming but I did take some time out of swimming for some for some period but um and so when I went back I was absolutely astounded how difficult you know from having the time out to going back to to swimming was really difficult to gain the strength and the I mean I was doing length after length after length um but found five lengths difficult <laughs> but we're continuing to do this and the sheer persistency to keep going just showed me that if you do keep going and don't give up be tenacious i was eventually up within a few weeks i was doing a mile every morning swimming a mile every morning within half an hour Wow. With yeah and i could have carried on as well i could have kept going i could have probably have done five miles if you know but it was, yeah, it was just by not giving up on the first, you know, the first week, few days and keep going. It just shows you that, you know, you can achieve anything. Understandable. And those that are watching right now, you can now see why Jane is really good at her job because she can literally talk underwater. And um... <laughs> <laughs> with a few bubbles. 
Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. I really appreciate the time that you've taken, um, you know, explaining to us what it is that you do and how, um, you know, you are making a difference in other people's businesses. Now, what will be the best way that people can get a hold of you there, Jane, just in case they want to maybe ask a few questions, um, you know, about your business or the actual telemarketing service? Yeah, well, just uh, contact me. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, I'm or email, which is sales at the telemarketing service dot com. Um, my office number is zero two zero three six two one eight four zero zero. Um, if you cut, you know, uh, my mobile is zero seven three nine five two seven seven nine eight five. So yeah, please, if you're interested in talking about some kind of telemarketing for your business, um, and you'd like me to connect with your businesses, um, then please, yeah, do get in contact. I'd be it'd be lovely to have a chat with you to see how we can help. Absolutely. I really appreciate that. And we're going to be putting all those details um, in the show notes and at the bottom of the screen, just so that you can get a hold of um, uh, Jane. There. Now, before I let you go, I just wanted you to maybe touch upon, you know, the resilience that you used in your swimming to come back and actually start doing well. There's a lot of people that start and stop their business. They might, um, you know, run into a few hurdles here and there. And the business world is not easy, as you would have noticed yourself. Mm -hmm. What sort of advice can you give to people that are maybe ooming and ahhing about, should we go into the next year or should we just shut shop? Or should we actually, um, you know, pick up the phone and start calling our prospective customers, um, you know, just so that we can drum up more business? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't give up. I think if you're gonna if started something, you've really put a lot into to starting up your business. Um, so, you know, my advice would be never give up. Unless, you know, unless it was really, really, you've done everything, you've tried everything to, you know, to keep the business going and that, and every angle. Um, but I would just, yeah, I would get on the phone, give a personal touch. Um, I would also, I really do believe that kind of with email marketing as well, to, to send out to your clients, but the key is to follow up those emails with a phone call give give your business to other businesses the personal touch and speak to them pick up the phone and speak to them and ask them questions find out you know would they like be interested in you know what you can provide what you can offer your usps um and definitely just be tenacious you're gonna get you know ups and downs in your business but just keep going, you know, you'll win in the end, like I did in swimming. Fantastic. I mean, obviously, this is such a good uh, conclusion to our um, episode. And you've noticed, and if you're listening right now, you can tell Jane is very proactive and successful in the way that she does her business with over 15 years experience in working within the sales and marketing sector and various industries. It's not easy when you are um, having to speak to different people about different subjects um, each and every time, but she has actually taken um, her passion and enthusiasm in her work and actually achieved long-term contracts for herself and for the clients that she's been working with. Now, Jane, I can't thank you enough for the time that you have, um, you know, spoken to us on the phone. I mean, maybe for you, it, it is another uh, day at work, but for us, this is so much value. Thank you so much. Oh, that's, no, that's absolutely fine. Thank you so much, Prosper. Absolutely been amazing. Great stuff. Oh.